Hey there Aries and welcome back to Boneco Tarot. I am here with a full moon reading for you because the full moon is on the 24th, full moon in Capricorn. And I figured, you know, I'll do a series. So, um, the other thing is I'm recording this on uh, June 22nd. So that means that Mercury is stationary direct today. So uh, this is a good thing. We still have a few more days, so be cautious for the next little bit. Probably for just about another five to seven days uh, with the usual Mercury retrograde shenanigans, which was all about communication for you. So it's likely you've learned a lot of lessons in that area. For the full moon, though, uh, this is happening in your 10th house of career which could signify a, signific a significant shift in your career path. So, now that we've got that all out of the way, let's get straight into the tarot. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what the tarot has to say for you, Aries. Okay, so we've got... <clears throat> We've got the Two of Wands as your central focus crossed by uh, the Lover's card. So uh, this could be um, this could be uh, a partnership from the past with someone who is distant from you. Um, could also be a Gemini. Let's see. Let's get some of the other cards down before I get too much into the story. Okay, so the foundation is the moon. <laughs> How appropriate that the full moon should stop by for your reading, Aries. In the past position, we have the death card. So um, absolute endings, that sort of thing. There's illumination coming for all of us. Uh, we've been in the, in the thick soup of... Um, of Mercury retrograde and it's been tricky for most of us. So uh, crowning your reading is the Sun card. So there could be a Leo in your situation or right now or the full moon is actually going to bring in a time of levity for you after maybe some challenging um, situations uh, around communication. In the short-term outcome position we have the the magician. So manifesting, that kind of goes in line with a major course correction in terms of what you could be manifesting for your career at this time. I'm thinking that there's a Leo very much in your situation, um, or you may have a lot of Leo placements as well, because the Strengths card is, is in your position. So uh, you may be feeling a lot stronger about things. In your environment... Uh, we have someone coming back rather quickly to your life in some shape or form. And in your hopes and fears, uh, could be there could be some stalking. You know, there could be someone uh, that maybe you hope is watching you. Or maybe you're hoping that somebody isn't <laughs> watching you right now. And in your final outcome, we've got the Ten of Cups. So, uh, Ten of Cups being um, emotional fulfillment and family and all of that kind of thing. So, I get the impression, Aries, that there's been a major transformation that was, um, that was pushed, uh, whether you were cooperating or not, during the, uh, during the Mercury retrograde phase that we're coming out of today. Underlying energies is the Six of Pentacles. So, a new sense of balance to some of your relationships, both personal and professional. So let's take a look at this for a second here. Okay, so you could be, um, you really could be wanting to connect with someone from your past, um, you know, kind of as Mercury leaves sometimes, uh, leaves retrograde, sometimes that gives sort of that final gift of what Mercury was, uh, was intending to bring you all along. Could be a reward for the work that you've done 
through this period because I found that the general theme of Mercury retrograde this time around was to find strength and vulnerability and you may have indeed done that and it's cleared the way you know you've processed your grief around certain situations and it's truly cleared the way for you to manifest something really positive in your life that's going to bring back that balance to your emotional life that may have been a burden to you in the past authority authoritarian kind of positions um, or attitudes that made you feel really defensive you may have truly been wanting to eliminate dogmatic belief systems from your life um, and it looks as though you're going to be bringing in a much more nurturing energy um, possibly to your career and somehow these things are related so let's get a little bit of clarification on some of these cards. Let's see what the Two of Wands is all about. Ooh, yeah, Tower card. So um, there really may have been some sort of a shakeup that uh, that was brought through through this Mercury retrograde period that really helped you, you know, close the book, close that final chapter to something. Let's see. About the lovers here and see what's happening. Queen of Swords uh, could be a Gemini. Um, anyway, someone who um, is bringing clarity on things that may have really, you know, um, been distant for you. Things that you just, yeah, somebody may have um, may have really been holding their, clar their cards close to their chest. I can't talk. Mercury, go away. Um, so, yeah, uh, whatever, you know, maybe you were alternating between very, between being very communicative about things and being really clear and then also knowing when not to say things, you know, picking your battles wisely, that sort of thing. So let's see what the moon is going to be illuminating for you is the Nine of Pentacles, so self-sufficiency and um, really kind of evolving, you know, um, into a greater sense of self and, uh, and you know, being okay on your own because in the past you may have felt really defeated by having to either take care of yourself or having to just stand on your own two feet about things so yeah what's gone what's gone from the past is lies deception sneaking out of things you know anything that sort of you know uh, an avoidance of communication um, is definitely going bye-bye because you have a greater strength in terms of the position that you want to take on any number of different subjects with the people around you. So what does the sun... Yeah, uh, we've got the Seven of Cups. So, you know, you may have thought in the past that your options were limited, but... What's really happening is, 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 you know, the sun is coming out and kind of burning off that brain fog. And, uh, you know, you may find that in Leo season, you know, you're going to have um, a much clearer vision as to what brings you joy. So what are you manifesting here, Aries? You know? <laughs> I love this. The magician clarifying the magician. Well, you're manifesting all right. And, um, you know, you're, you're super powerful right now. And this power is bringing in an emotional stability that you've been craving for some time. So let's get some clarity on the strength card. Yeah, you know, you may still be in your head trying to think of what is actually coming to you. 
um, you know, get out of your head. Um, tame the beast that is, you know, the repeated tapes that Mercury Retrograde was trying to help you sweep out. Um, because you don't need them anymore, you know? You've got double magician, Aries. You, no self-doubt. No more room for that. And it's just a waste of energy for you to worry about things. Because what you desire is coming towards you. We've got the chariot clarifying the knight of wands. Something is coming. Coming straight for you. Three of wands here, and you're ready for it. So if there's a part of you that doubts whether you're ready for these new changes, I think, you know, you need to put that away because, you know, here's King of Wands. So this is Aries again. You know, you've reached the level where you can actually embrace these gifts that are on their way to you. Oh, I'm so excited for you, Aries. Aries, if you're finding that this reading is resonating with you so far, please go ahead and hit the like button. And also subscribe if you haven't already. And your hopes and fears. Yeah, you're definitely hoping to connect with um, something really sweet from your past. And I don't think that you have to worry about it. I think they are watching you. Um, and I think that I think that that, that, that makes you kind of happy to know, you know, that that, that that is the case. And yeah... It's like this, this new emotional fulfillment and stability that's coming in, you know, is, is really bringing you back to a place of innocence as you approach your relationships from a new vulnerable space, you know, and baby steps, baby steps. Let's get one more card on that. One more card on the Ten of Cups and the Page of Wands. There it is. Yeah, because, you know, in the past, you would have been brooding about what hasn't manifested for you yet. But, you know, this is the thing. It's coming towards you. The chariot is going to bring it right in. And uh, you won't have to wait for much longer. Yeah, because you felt on the outside of something for a while now. Um, and uh, and those, those days are, are over. No more defensiveness. And the moon is going to be, the full moon will be a key moment for that. Many of the signs are actually having some brilliant gifts come in on the heels of this Mercury retrograde. Some of the signs are going to have a bit of a trickier time, but I think that you're going to do really, really well. So I'm going to pull uh, a few Lenormand cards too and see what insights and advice and... Yeah, the Rider card. <laughs> it's coming in fast. It's coming in super fast. I mean, it, it really has felt like walking through molasses, hasn't it, for the last little while? So what is coming in? What is on its way to you? Cool. Well, you know, again, this is kind of pointing to the Seven of Cups here. You know, you may think on the surface of things that there's too many options that are starting to come in. There's too many directions. You may be feeling, okay, just when I think I've I've made a decision that's going to take me into the next phase. Now i got something else here that it's like, hmm, maybe I should go this way. Just relax because whatever it is that you're moving into is coming for you. Yeah, and it's going to lead to some security for you and a time for you to just kind of, you know, plant, plant a few roots and, you know, and allow you to really, um, to really enjoy and experience this new level of maturity that you have, that this Mercury retrograde cycle may have um, encouraged you to step up to. 
So Aries, I'm going to finish this reading off with one of my Oracle of E cards. If you are interested in a private reading, I would suggest that you go to my website, uh, www.bonacotarot.com, and uh, you can contact me there um, and uh, subscribe to my website. I'm, you know, I'm still trying to, you know, take advantage of the energies myself, but I've got some interesting material to look at. Uh, I just had a special on a shadow report. Um, it ends today, but if you are interested in it, if I get orders before midnight tonight, I will still honor the 50% off that, uh, that I currently have posted. So let's see what the Oracle of E has to say for you. Hairball. Okay, so there may be something like this, this options thing, you know, it's like, it, it's not going to, it's going to change things, but it's going to just tweak it a little bit. And it's kind of your last kind of test is as to whether you fully absorb the lessons of this previous Mercury retrograde. Watch out for head games, my dear. Uh, and by all means, like really don't play them with yourself. <laughs> you know, we've all got enough challenges to deal with in, in this day and age. So Aries, I hope you found that helpful and uh, we'll see you again.